Here in this code sample, we add uh, three text fields so the user can enter uh, the name of the course is, is searched for, uh, ID, as well as number of uh, hours. In addition, we place a button so that the user can press that button. Uh, the outcome of pressing that button will be a simple refresh. Um, actually, if you check the code, the HTML code that is generated and sent back to the user, then the browser actually get here a simple submit button that when uh, the user press it, uh, there is a request from the web browser to the server and then a respond, so we actually get a refresh. Here we add uh, the where attribute with uh, the where clause that actually specify which courses we want to display in the GUI component, in the control that use this entity data source and here we define those parameters in use. As you can see we define three parameters course name, course ID, course hours, and we refer those parameters from the WHERE clause. At course hours, refer this parameter. At course ID, refer this parameter, and so on. And each one of those three parameters, each one of them is binded with another control. Those are the three controls we added in order to allow the user to enter the search. The name is searched for, the ID of the course is searched for, or number of hours. We also need to specify the type of each one of these three parameters. Now, the rest remains as it was in the previous um, video clip. Let's execute and see what happens. This is the output. Now if I try and enter Scala, search courses, I get the Scala course. If I type PHP, I get all courses, their name includes PHP. If I enter 1206, I will get just the course, its number is 1206, and so on.